My name is Brian Miller, and I am author of Above the Fold, and I'm also the owner of the Brian Miller Design Group in Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, my book is called Above the Fold, and um, it's mainly intended for um, print designers or um, new designers going into the field of web design. And I, I guess the best way to describe it comes from a story that I heard in graduate school, which is, you know, there was a sociological study of um, children in a playground, and uh, they, did, they did two tests. The first test was a playground that had no fence around it, and the second test was a playground that had a fence around the perimeter. And they noticed that when they put children in a playground that had no fence around it, they all clustered towards the middle, and they didn't explore. They just sort of stayed around each other, sort of clustered, and uh, just sort of to feel safe. But when they put the children in a field or a playground that had uh, a fence around it, they explored every area of the playground from you know, every corner of it. They went right up to the fence. They looked over the fence. And sort of that's a metaphor for this book, which is the book is your perimeter fence as a new web designer. Um, it's meant to give you the guidelines in the safe area uh, and the knowledge to start exploring web design. And um, that's, that's really the intent of the book. <laughs> Above the Fold is a, is, a, is a strange concept these days. Um, I, I titled the book Above the Fold because I'm talking about the transition from, from, from print design to web design, and that's sort of that window that people understand. And in the print world, you have a newspaper. Uh, in the web world, you have this term Above the Fold. But I, I get a little critical of clients who want everything Above the Fold because you know, I never open a newspaper and say, I'm going to go turn some pages. Um, I'm a, I say, I'm going to go find out what the sports score is or what the stock whatever is. Um, and I think people approach the web now that same way, that as long as there's some indication when a user comes to a page as to what's on that page, what happens to be below the fold is, is just as valuable as what's above the fold with scrolling mice and, and trackpads and such. It's much easier to evaluate the full breadth of a page than it was, say, even five years ago. So I, I, I tend to talk clients down off of the above-the-fold uh, ledge whenever they, uh, they, they approach that. <laughs>